it just feels kind of like numb. You do a lot of bicycle riding? No. How long have you been married? Uh, it's 12 years next month. You have six kids. But you don't think it could have anything to do with that, do you? Probably. How often do you use your vibrator? Excuse me? Your battery-operated Brad Pitt. After giving the gift of life to six eight-pound, four-ounce wrecking balls, I think I can safely assume it's an industrial strength model. Dr. Harani, please. You wanted routine. Am I done? Maybe we should just move on. No problem. I meant with your typical day. I assume you see more than one patient? Nope. Okay. Then I guess we will move on to our next guest. Wait, if you only see one patient, what do you do the rest of the day? Dr. Harani? Just in time for lunch. By lunch, you mean a conference call with the board and by just in time, you mean 20 minutes late. I meant sex. Fine, lunch. How about we start with a small tossed salad? As of this morning, I'm on a diet. Meaning? I told you I'm busy. No, you told me you were supposed to be busy 20 minutes ago, but you were obviously able to put them off then. There's no reason you can't put them off now. How about I wanted to then, and now I don't? Get your finger off my phone. We obviously have something we need to discuss. Now is not a good time. If you're mad because you don't feel you're getting the necessary amount of affection, all you have to do is ask. Seriously, not now. Memory serves. I enjoyed a healthy Sunday brunch. So your insinuation... Ow! What is your problem? You, you are my problem. You are the most selfish, self-centered son of a bitch on the face of the planet. And I'm sick of it. I'm just done. I can't deal with you anymore. So that's what a typical doctor does on a typical day. Any questions? What's a vibrator? Why was your girlfriend so mad? It doesn't matter. Well, obviously it matters. I mean, if she's your girlfriend, you should care how she feels. I mean, it doesn't matter to the story. It's the most important part of the story. It's the only thing that does matter. You don't kiss her enough. Is that the problem? Absolutely not. Which, by your definition, means it is. We kiss plenty. So you really did force his roommate to hack into the laptop? Why would I lie? But whose laptop is it? It's your girlfriend's, isn't it? She's not my girlfriend. I'm just interested in her because she's a client and she sleeps above her covers. Four feet above her covers. What? Ghostbusters. So, that's why she's so mad. You looked through her computer? No, that part happened after she got mad. First she got mad, then I stole her computer to fix things. And then we got the case. Wait, so you tried to fix your relationship by stealing her computer? You say it like that. Yes. Looks like you're the moron. <laughs> I'm out of here. Unless... Rachel's gonna be up soon. Well, you never know. Yes, I do. Can you take the garbage out before you go? Uh, I, I, I would, but... Oh, come on. 
Come on. It's not a lot. Pain's always worse first thing in the morning. Brush. That's so gross. What's the big deal? It's not like she had a problem swapping spit the night before. Well, maybe it's not the swapping spit that bothers her, but the fact that you don't listen to her. Had she warned you not to do it? Oh, I listened to her. But you just said before that you didn't. No, I said I didn't remember what she said. No, you said you don't listen. I listen to her. You're gross and dumb. You listen to what she says just so you can tell her how wrong she is. You are clueless and naive. I have to tell her that she's wrong, because no one else will. She's the boss. Which means she's surrounded by morons who are either afraid of her, or they want to kiss up to her, or they want to... kiss her. But not you. I already kissed her. I respect her enough not to treat her like some tender blossom who needs to be coddled. You cheated on her, didn't you? No, I didn't cheat on her. It's obviously more than just you used a toothbrush and wouldn't take the garbage out. No, actually, it was exactly that. I just need some time alone. Because I used your toothbrush? And you wouldn't take out the garbage? That's insane. You know that, right? You do whatever you want, always. I said I was sorry, I was... I was still half asleep. I wasn't paying attention. And you're always right. And I don't mean you always think you're right, but y you are actually always right. Because that's all that matters. That doesn't even make sense. What, you want me to be wrong? I want you to care about more than just what you want. What you think. You need me, House. And you may even love me. But you don't care about me. And I deserve someone who does. I'm busy. I know. I just want to say that I'm sorry. Shouldn't you be saying that to Sanford Wells? A fifth grade career day? You really thought you could pull that off? I figured how hard could it be. And I wanted to prove to you that I do care about your needs and Rachel's. I do. So why you also stole my computer? Yes, it is. And then threw it in the trash? I did not throw it, I placed it, knowing that the janitor would find it and know it was yours and return it to you unharmed. I'm a moron. That doesn't mean I, I don't care about you, that I don't think about you. I don't want you to be happy. I was wrong, you were right. I could do better. Just give me a chance. So what were you? An astronaut or a bullfighter? I was myself, for the most part. <laughs>